Go back, you're on the wrong side of the road. Go back, go back. Don't drive into me. Go back, why are you hitting me? We're trying to touch me again, I'll smack you. In self defense. Why are you driving into me? Hey Siri, dial 999, please. No, you don't. Gotta go back, mate. People have caused a lot of crashes here. This is why I'm here to look after my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. My name is Mike, and I ride around with the GoPro in London and I film drivers behaving badly. I guess there's a bunch of reasons behind that, but pr the primary reason is because of that bullying we all experience from some drivers as cyclists. And I, I'm like tired of that. I don't want to put up with that anymore. If we film and report these drivers, we can make a difference. And sure, I'm just one person making a small difference, but what happens when you have 10,000 of us? And I think there probably are more than 10,000 in the UK. What's up? I don't know, maybe I message. No. Get away from me. Huh? Get away I've from got me. Witnesses here. Get away from I've me. I've got witnesses, man. Let go. Uh, no. Nope. Let go. No. Nope. Let I'm go. This. Most of the time, I just film on the way to and from work or on errands. Very occasionally, I'll take an out and go to Regent's Park when Regent's Park is very busy for Gandalf's Corner. I, sometimes I'll take two or three passes down down a line of cars if I have time. Otherwise, I'll just rush past if I'm late for work. I think I'm going to report him on here via the Met Online. Yeah. Well, Thank we you. Can, we can do a bit here and now. Um, you, you do, do whatever you feel you need to. I'm very happy with you guys. Thank you for coming. Um, Everyone who cycles knows how often and people are on the phone or how, how, how many drivers are not doing what they should be doing. I've seen footage of you in Regent's Park in particular. Yeah, those are some of the scarier and more adrenaline filled parts of what I do. And that, basically it's because people go on the wrong side of the road, the wrong side of a keep left sign and a pedestrian island, just to skip a queue of traffic and that really burns me because a lot of my friends go riding and training in Regent's Park and it puts them in danger. I mean I'm, I'm not really a sports cyclist, I'm just a transport cyclist um, but I used to do some, some training and I feel with my friends there so I'm there for them. Go back. Back you go. Delta Charlie 65. I used to ride a motorbike, I've injured so... Um, I know the feeling, I also used to ride a motorbike. We're about to run the Hyde Park Chum Line. Uh, that being West Carriage Drive in Hyde Park. So you often catch lots of phone drivers here. Basically uh, I end up looking like a bit of a Wally because I have a, a camera on my cap. I don't wear a helmet. That'll probably cause a bit of helmet contention. But most of the time I'm riding around with a GoPro here on my, on my hat. I, I wouldn't bother if it weren't for filming phone drivers but this, this kind of position of a camera is about the only way you could get the necessary evidence to catch a phone driver. And as we know, the law changed on Friday to become much more restrictive. But before Friday, you had to really capture evidence of somebody texting or looking through social media and liking or actually making a phone call. And that meant I'd have to get right up into a driver's personal space and be able to film what's on the screen of the phone. Because just holding the phone wasn't enough. That's changed now, so hopefully it'll be a lot easier. What's the law now? So the law now is you can't hold a phone, you can't light up the screen, you can't app, you can't take a picture or anything like that. It's much, much easier to get the evidence, hopefully, that's necessary for prosecution. But hey, only time will tell, because like any law in the UK, it quite quickly becomes modified by appeals to the High Court in terms of case law. But I'm not an expert on that, so I don't really know what's going to come. Jesus You're completely Christ. on the wrong side, alright? Why? I'm sure all these guys feel really great about how you jump the queue, huh? Back you go. You're blocking a whole lot of traffic. You have to carry a box so, of batteries with you, Mikey. I don't normally use how six. Much footage you have? Um, I, no, I don't. I normally go through maybe only a single change on, on, on an average day, unless I'm at Gandalf Corner like I was in the tube strike. Then I used all, all six spares. Because uh, because I'm filming so much, I want very li very little fuss. So I have the camera set up for one touch bu button start. So it starts recording. And let's say we see something of interest and you just bump the power button here and it says highlight added. So later on when you go and look at the footage, there's a little yellow tag at the exact time where you were interested. So you're filming all the time? All the time. Absolutely everything. And I keep it for, at the moment, about a year. That's incredible. A 42 terabyte NAS under my desk. Amazing. I'm, I'm quite IT literate. I, I used to work in IT. I should send you a picture of my, my computer. And that, that, that stock of all the video gets just deleted as I need space. So at the moment it's running at about a year's worth. But when I get home I just dump all the footage onto my main desktop and I only take out the highlighted videos. And they get filed in a project folder which is ordered by year, month, day so I can find it easily. And then a little text file in there explaining what each thing was. 
So I might have randoms being today's big laundry um, cargo bike and the dog. And then maybe I hit a button when I saw that Uber driver on the phone and that I caught on the way to you. Back that way. It's dangerous to do that on that corner. What do they not learn? Are you the guy? Thank you. You're That's both cool. awesome. That's all right. Not letting that happen. I think I'm at about a thousand ish reports. Some haven't been actioned. I try and run at about 80% NIP rate. So an NIP means a notice of intended prosecution. And that's when the police send the registered owner a letter asking them to identify who was driving and explaining that they want to prosecute the person for whatever offense it was. So by running at 80%, I, it, it allows me to keep exploring the bounds of what they will prosecute and what they won't so that I understand better what to report. The remaining 10% would be drivers who just get a warning or a, a notice of that they were using the phone but there wasn't quite enough evidence to prosecute them. And maybe the final 10% would just be people with no further action. And you end up going to court? Sometimes. Luckily not very often. Only about two to five out of every hundred cases. Two to five times. And that's because the GoPro footage is so good and so clear that if the police have chosen to prosecute it, they're almost always keel over guilty. You've caught a few quite high profile people. Yes. I caught Guy Ritchie, Chris Eubank and Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard got off, but Guy Ritchie and Chris Eubank both got done. All using their phones? Yeah, I didn't recognise any of them. I'm probably most embarrassed about not recognising Chris Eubank, because I, I did actually know who he was. The other two I might not have, have realised. You need to turn around and go that way. I'm not moving. Call the police. Honestly, nothing at all. She walked off. Wow. <laughs> she just walked off. This is Gandalf Corner in Regent's Park. Why is this so infamous? So basically, it's infamous because when it gets very busy, which is not that often. So I'm, I've been here maybe 20 times in the last, 20 times a year in the last couple of years. But basically the traffic along here backs up when it gets super busy. It's dead quiet now. And then what, some people want to go straight to Marlebone Road and some people want to turn right onto the continuation of the outer circle here. So what they do is from way back there, they'll jump the queue and come down the wrong side of the road all the way here on the wrong side of this pedestrian refuge and turn into there, which is super dangerous. Well, some are, they're more aware now of drivers on the wrong side after the past few years here. But you know, you're, you're expecting traffic to come from there, not from the wrong side of the road straight at, head on at you. And it's because of them that I come here, because it's super dangerous. And this is where someone's driven into you? Yes. Pushed you around the corner? Two times. Do you like to watch this channel called Stop a Douchebag, which is a fantastic channel. And they're the Russian guys who stop people parking on the pavement, which I'm quite a fan of, of them doing. And I've seen enough of them take a, a bonnet ride, bonnet surfing, that I kind of know what to expect. And I'm not so stressed about bonnet surfing. You can see from this side how really quite wide that pedestrian island is. If you have a look now with the camera, do you notice how many pedestrians are walking around? I think again, this is a quiet time. It's much busier during rush hour. They really need the breadth of this island for the number of pedestrians that cross here. And I, th I think pedestrians should come before drivers and before cyclists as well, as the latest highway code says. Scary eyes. That's what the hair and look like when it looks at you. So once the reporting is done, you post some of your footage onto YouTube. Generally, I, I wait for the results because to me, the, the justice side of things is more important. It's the changing of the driver's attitude that's the primary thing. Um, and the police ask you not to post footage on social media until after the whole court process is completed. Um, because there, apparently there's a chance you can you can prejudice the case. I suspect that would never happen for an ordinary mobile phone user, but it might happen in the case of an assault. I do get people annoyed, like, why are you posting videos from a year ago? And it's because, you know, I have the results only from a year ago. Justice is a, a slow and finely grinding process. I'd like to see people running cameras. I'm not saying you should make as much of an effort as I am. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely putting some effort into it, even if it's not very much every day. But if you run cameras, you at least have a chance of come back on someone that's abused you or close past you or done something to you. So, and, and the more of us that are out there doing that, the safer it becomes for all of us. Each one of us only has to make a small difference for it to add up to be a very big sea change in road safety in the UK.